All right, I'm just gonna make a quick video. I haven't been able to talk a lot because of a lot of stuff that we've been doing had to do with national uh, security secrets. And until we set up our, our government, federal military organizations, we could not, I couldn't just, I couldn't speak about it. Okay, so that's the reason why I haven't been on Telegram. That's the reason why I haven't been on any of these. Uh, the Most High really convicted my heart because I was on there, I was talking to a lot of people, but I wasn't getting the work done. So, uh, you know, he, he let me know, this is not what you're here for. You're here to, you know, you're here to serve. And so uh, I had to, you know, for the last couple months, I had to, you know, last six months, I had to just bone down. But we we got our, our, our government federal military organization set up under our denominational organization in accordance with all our trust agreements with the United States. And uh, we have our bond uh, indemnifying our actions uh, uh, underwritten and uh, held by the Department of uh, Treasury for the United States before it went down. It doesn't matter. A trust agreement set. So uh, we're going to be moving forward. Now, comprehend, we're going to, uh, we are the wartime commission of the churches. All right. We are the wartime agencies of the churches. And uh, during World War One they gave us authority as a civil civilian organization over the military not civil civilian organization over the military as it is in the hand and directory and handbook that they gave out when they gave the army national colors to me and mine to be leading out of each denominational denomination. Not every denomination is a denominational. You cannot take that on that title unless you are were part of that organization that was part of this wartime, uh, wartime commission of the churches during World War I. That's me. All right, that's our organization. The place where I was sent out, laid hands, sent out, that was they, they sent us out with those that authority. That's our trust agreements that we had to go through in order for us to be able to operate as men and uh, of the law, all right? Or, or should I say, they call us uh, bishops, okay? Uh, I don't like that title. Um, it, it, a lot of people that aren't you know, proper or righteous uh, uh, use that title and it gives bad terms to it. It's really shepherd. We should be shepherds and we should serve. All right, and that's what we, uh, that's what uh, men are, but they should serve as shepherds, protectors, and you can't be novice. You have to have control of your own house, which I do. I am not a minor. All right, I was sent out uh, when I was, uh, my mother and father, my father's a uh, lifelong uh, um, Baptist minister. Um, they dedicated me at, at uh, when I was born to the church in, in, in ceremony. Um, I was baptized, I was saved at 10, I was baptized at 13, and I've built eight Baptist churches. Uh, been there, four of them from the ground up. Uh, one uh, church camp that's a national church camp now, and it's people from all over the nation come there and enjoy it, and it's beautiful. And so, what I want to do, and what we have done with our organizations because it's a group of pastors that are, are joining together. And of course, it, it you know, more and more is gonna come as they get educated to what you know, our responsibilities are and how to take care of them properly where we don't have the confusion, all right? Uh, because really, there is nobody in charge right now. You think there are, there ain't. And the ones that are in charge, you don't want in charge because they're not supposed to be here, all right? We're the ones. We control the theater of war here. Period. If they violate this right here and you're a volunteer right here, that is a Geneva Convention violation. And this is under a government mili federal military organization registered with the United States. I have a number. It isn't a, a, a pretend. Okay? So, having the ability to utilize and train and educate the civilian populace around you so that if and when something might happen because that's what it looks like I mean look at the SSS uh, you know website it says they're getting ready for something for 2024 that means you can be drafted by 2024 they plan on having a war they got everything set up for it 
So this theater of war, which it is a theater of war right now, this theater of war is about to get lit up. And you don't, if you don't have know how to handle yourself on a theater of war, and you're not in a uh, civilian protected person's status, military protected person status, you're gonna be in trouble. Now, all beautiful thing is, all this was set up for us in World War One. We don't have to think up none of this stuff, man. It's already done. All right, it's already done. It's simple. Okay, and we have two pro, two organizations that we can operate through, or several organizations, government organizations, and we've set them up for you. All right, what we ask you to start off with the uh, Red Cross. We're gonna have a lot of work to be doing. The American Red Cross is gonna have a lot of work uh, for y'all to be doing. Uh, we also have an international, it's American International Red Cross. Uh, so for people who want to be, uh, that, because we have authority during World War One, they gave us authority. You wanna know where our jurisdiction is? here and overseas that's our jurisdiction that's our area of jurisdiction during world war one guess what world war one had an armistice look up the definition of armistice now i'm not here to play games with you about how the world war one ended it hasn't ended it was only a ceasefire everything that was set up is set up permanently and we know that because they had to do it with every one of the uh, they had to do it with every one of the nations with this um, uh, society uh, international society of the Red Cross comprehend that the image the Red Cross this red image right here the one that the YMCA I YMCA used during World War One, was all given through permits from the General uh, Wartime Commission of the churches in accordance with the uh, DOD directory and handbook that was given out. Okay? And <clears throat> when the president of the Red Cross continued the Red Cross even after the wartime commission of the churches wasn't being active at the time and he moved it over into a corporation from the trust into the corporation the 501c3 in 1938 he breached the trust with us and he was no longer indemnified and they're no longer indemnified and you they must be indemnified by a denominational or they're in violation and they're in, uh, they're in rebellion against the United States. So that's easy enough for us to handle to transfer them you know, back into our trust. That's easy. We control the high courts and we know how to do it. And like we win 100% of our cases, but it's because we go in righteous. We don't represent we don't get in the way of sinners. So, what we're asking is, is for volunteers to start contacting us. Our website will be connected with this video. Uh, you can look up the Department of Army Civi or Civilian Police .us, and that website will be uh, will be going. It's going to be in development. We're going to be uh, creating different ways for you to be able to bring and get involved in your neighborhood with our website all right we want you to take part in our civilian government organization in a powerful way all right we want y'all to be able to uh start uh, looking around and seeing what's going on and be able to first of all help people on the health side let's get them let's get everybody this this Let's make sure our elderly are okay. We got a lot of programs that the Red Cross are, are, are great for that we that you can take part in. All right, and start off there. Um, if you're in a situation where you are qualified, then we can move you over into uh, different types of work. All right, uh, so we'll just take it one step at a time like I said we're gonna have it set up there where you'll be able to put it in there now understand you know everybody was saying you know Tanner's an agent and at first I, the other day I was like I'm not a, and then I realized I am an agent okay so yeah I'm an agent all right I'm an agent I'm a government agent all right 
and it's awesome. And guess what? You can be one too. A real one. Not a foreign wannabe. And guess what? They're under our authority. So, and uh, like I said, we have to work with them as best we can in a cooperative manner. And that's what we're here to do. But we must do it as congregations that are being led by shepherds. They care for each other. That the number one thing is you have love for your neighbor. We don't harm our neighbors. We look after our neighbors. I don't care what denomination they may be. We're to work in cooperation. And there, there's going to be some that are going to be very upset with me because I'm saying, well, this was given to certain organizations. They weren't given to all. All right? Y'all weren't here during the revolution. Sorry. Y'all didn't participate in that. Y'all didn't earn the right to be called a denominational organization unless you were there and y'all weren't. If y'all were, y'all would have been invited to the party. Now what we're doing is we're inviting you to the party right now to become civilians under our protection and under our ability to indemnify you so that charges of unlawful conduct on a theater of war, whatever they may be, cannot be brought against you in a competent manner. I think it's a pretty good invitation, baby. I don't see any other salvation for you besides the kingdom of Christ. And that's just coming from the lively oracles. And I found that whenever I live by the lively oracles, I speak like a prophet of the Most High. How much you want to bet you? You won't find out it's true. Now, have a blessed day, and I pray to the Most High that peace be with you. Much aloha and much alone. May the victory be blessed and understand while you're walking through the valley of the shadow of death, it is nothing but a shadow. And the only thing you got to care about is one day here, my good and faithful servant, come here, my boy. I love you. Peace be with you.